Hi, I'm Matt from Overland Travellers. You might have seen a few compact camp chairs pop up in the market lately, and today I'm going to show you what Red Roads has to offer in the Campwell Compact Chair. I'm Matt, and this is Holly. We've been travelling around Australia for the past 12 months in our old Toyotas, going to some of the most incredible locations. Subscribe and join the adventure. So as you just saw in the intro, my girlfriend Holly and I have been travelling around Australia for over 12 months now, and we've been refining our camp setup that whole time. And I really think we've found the perfect camp chair and I'll show you why. So we've all been there, you've been packing the car for a weekend camping trip and it's absolutely packed to the rafters. If so, you might want to consider the Campwell Compact Camp Chair from Red Roads. So I think the biggest benefit of these chairs is obvious immediately with what's in front of me. We've got the Red Roads Compact Chair and we've got a standard camp chair. Uh, the footprint of this, um, as you can see, I could fit probably four of the compact chairs. So you can get a whole family's worth of camp chairs for the space of one. So I think even if you've got the space or not, you should really opt to go for the smaller, lighter camp items. On or off road, just having a lighter vehicle is just better for its performance. But as we're currently restoring an old troop carrier where space is a premium, something like this makes a lot of sense for us. All right, I'll set it up and I'll show you some of the features of this chair. So setup isn't as fast as a standard fold-out cam chair, but it's still really not too bad. So I'll show you right now. So let's take it out of the case. Take all your components out. All right, so this is the steel frame. It has shock cords uh, for each of the poles to click in. So it's really nice and easy. Don't get confused. All right, so you can tell which ends the feet with the uh, rubberized bottoms. So like that. All right, so this is your fabric here. I just use the logo on the back here to tell which ways up and down. Then you just pop each corner in. And that's it, that's set up now. So that really didn't take too long. So here's some of my favourite features about this chair. It has a strong steel frame with shock cord, 1200D tough fabric, a detachable drink and phone holder, similar sitting height to a standard chair, a weight of only 2.2 kilos, and it can hold over 140 kilos. So one of my absolute favourite features about this chair is that the shock cord is replaceable. So if through wear and tear it breaks, it's just really easy to repair. Uh, you'd be amazed at how many companies don't make their items easy to repair. So it's just a big plus for me because you're just gonna get a long life out of this chair and something that's perishable like that, it's important to have a way to easily repair it. So you might've seen me take this out before. This is the chair footprint. Now it's sold separately. But what this does is it just attaches into the bottom. And that will stop the chair legs from sinking into the ground. Uh, because these chair legs are so thin, they do tend to sink down in soft soil and especially sand. So I definitely recommend getting that. It just makes sitting in it a bit more comfortable. So, the big question, what is it actually like to sit in? Well, it's actually very comfortable. Very stable, supportive frame. Uh, I've noticed a few other chairs similar to this from other brands are uh, not particularly stable. So it's definitely very good in that regard. So as I've said before, it's actually a very similar height to a standard dining chair. I find with other camp chairs, I tend to sink really low down into them, making it a bit uncomfortable if I'm at a table eating. Holly and I actually find these chairs really comfortable to sit down at a table and do our computer work and our vlogs in. So I'm not sitting as low as a standard camp chair. Uh, so if you're a bit older and you find it a bit hard to get in and out of a normal camp chair, this might be a good option for you. So obviously there's no armrests, which some people might not like, but it does have a drink and phone holder, which is detachable, uh, which is a great inclusion because a lot of compact chairs like these don't have that. 
So this version here is actually the low back. They do have a high back version, which has a cushion for your head. I have sat in the high back version, but Holly and I just find the low back more comfortable. I can't explain why, it's just personal preference. So we were given these chairs from a company called A247 to test out. We really like these chairs. We're gonna keep using them. It's $135 for the low back version and $20 for the footprint, which is a little bit more than your other compact camping chairs from some other brands. But to be honest, the build quality is top notch. All the weight bearing components are steel. And the fact that you can repair the shock cord is really gonna extend the life of your chair. Because these chairs are so small and compact, there's really no reason why you wouldn't have it in your car at all times. I find myself taking these down to the beach when I just wanna set it up and read my book. And I wouldn't really do that with a standard camping chair. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you liked the video. As I said, uh, we got these chairs from A24-7. So you can jump on their website, we'll link it below, and you can grab one of these chairs. If you put the code OLT in, then you can get a further 10 bucks off the chair and anything else from the A24-7 website for that matter. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.